Hey y'all, hey, what's going on? I am having snappy salad. Oh my god. Now I come like a lie. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie. I I recorded the video last week, but I was dropping stuff and it just it just wasn't the video. So I'm re-recording it this week. This salad gets a file from me. It is so good. This is yellowfin tuna salad. I get it seared a little longer because I don't do the raw meat. Praise God. And this um, dressing, I forgot the name of the darn dressing, but it is so good. It's from Snappy Salads. If you still want a super salad, is super salad still open? Is super salad still a thing? You need to be what? Okay. Who is still eating your super salad? Who is who's still eating your super salad? Baby, it's all about Snappy Salad have to me the most freshest salads like if you have a if we have a taste for a salad i'm either coming to snappy salad or i'm gonna come to lito's kitchen which is a small chain in garland so this is how it looks hopefully y'all can see um like i said i got oh god is good thank you Lord, for this food let it be to my body in jesus name amen it has okay so let me just tell you what all it has can y'all see yeah you can see that it has yellow fan tuna which i really like fresh tuna i've always wanted to try fresh tuna but and like cook it and can it myself but i didn't want to mess it up so some stuff i just be like nah let me let other people do that like when it comes to seafood i let other people do it it has oh my god wasabi nuts these things right here so good it has um chestnut water chestnut spring mix onions carrots and celery in this dressing so good so i wanted to uh do a review on this and tell y'all to go try this salad if you're into tuna um if not then i mean you can still try it without the tuna because you'll still be getting the dress. Oh, and the um, these things. This is called wonton chips. But I'm not. I'm. Finna, I'm not gonna eat this on here. Cause last video, I'm telling you, I was dropping stuff. If if I ain't dropping something, then it ain't like me. Cause I'm clumsy. My mom always said I'm her clumsiest child. She said that since I was a kid. I'm clumsy. That's why I don't like to eat and drive. I like to sit and eat because I'm, I'm gonna drop something. I'm gonna drop it. I'm gonna drop it so anyway happy friday i hope y'all have a great day um this week was a much better week for me last week it was um very um, overwhelming mentally i had to literally control all delete um from work um and just take a little like in the middle of work i just had a, a overwhelming moment from just the week and just other things and i just said like you know what i cannot do it today like i cannot so um, sometimes you don't have to tell, you know, them what your sickness is. Sometimes the sick sickness is not always, uh, physical. Sometimes it's mental and you got to know when to push, pull back and be like, listen, I just can't do it today. You know, I just can't do it today. You real snappy with everything and you just, you just, everything is overwhelming. You, you just take off, take off. They sure going to take off on you should they not need you again with no warning no nothing so just just know when to pull back and when i'm always looking down at me and i need to be looking up here just know when to pull back and know when to take care of yourself there's only one you and nobody's gonna take care of you like you if something should happen to your position or whatever something should happen to you they're gonna fill your position right away now I know that there's response. People have responsibilities. I'm not saying do anything the wrong way, but there are times that you just you just simply cannot. And I'm talking about those times. No one to take off. Your body gonna tell you when to when you need to to rest or take off. If you don't, and I learned that the hard way. People used to always say slow down, eat da 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 da. Now I'm good. Your body will tell you when you need to rest. It's so good. Your body will tell you when you need to take a break. Your body will tell you when you need to let go and let go and just go go somewhere go get a pedicure by the end of the day i felt much better 
by the end of the day i felt so much better i took off i just controlled our delete told my manager i don't feel well and i did not i did not feel well i did not feel well and it not only was not feeling well here when you don't feel well here it shows up in your physical body sometimes we don't be feeling well but it's really a mental we're not feeling well mentally so i got myself together i prayed i bind loose all that stuff coupled with practical things i came against whatever emotion and whatever thing that was trying to overwhelm me from the things that i've been going through and facing these last few weeks and um and all that stuff things that's been on my my mind and my heart you know um learning not to take others burdens when i pray for people you know sometimes that can be hard because sometimes it's not even my burden i could be feeling and picking somebody else in, in the spirit and i'm not really aware so after i did all that i took a shower and i went straight to the nail salon and got me a pedicure and it was such a relaxing and I, my lady wasn't there the one that i usually go to she wasn't even there and um i was like man i really wanted to you know because i go to her i don't, I don't go to nobody else i go to her and but the other lady that i had she was so nice and just what i actually needed you know and she really did a great job on my on my feet and it was more it was more of an encouragement for me it was like literally she was the one that i needed to go to so so anyway take care of yourself no one to pull back no one to take self-care you don't have to always go out it doesn't take much sometimes you can just take a blanket and change your scenery and go to the park and sit in the grass and have a picnic by yourself whether you married or not, it don't matter. Whether you're in a relationship or not, it don't matter. You can go and do something like that. Go get some food. Get a blanket. And sit there. And enjoy nature. Take a, take your radio. You know, Take a power source with you so you can be out there for several hours and have your music playing. Take a book. You know, it doesn't take much for self-care. It doesn't take much to take care of you. Unless you're just over the top and do the most. Okay, that's your... That's your prerogative, but it doesn't take much. It, it shouldn't take much. Because sometimes all that extra lights, bells, and whistles, it, it don't do it. It really don't. You know, you need something simple, something calm, something ducked off, you know. But to each his own, I'm just saying, take your mental break. Take your time to yourself. It's okay. We all have, we all get weary and well doing. The thing is, we got to get up from that place the, the, that's it we're, we're gonna get weary and well doing period but when we get up from that place and pick ourselves up and cast our cares on god like he told us like he told us to cast our cares on him for he cares for us take on his yoke because his yoke is easy and his burdens are light when we put it in his hands we don't feel the heaviness of it when we truly put it in his hands we don't feel the heaviness of what we're going through because we're going through some heavy things and it's other heavy things that's on the way. It's, it's other heavy things that's on the way. Yes, there's there's victories on the way, but there's other heavy things on the way and we just got to hold on to the horns of the altar. I know it sounds very cliche for us people that are churched, but it, we really do have to hold on to the horns of the altar. It, re it literally, we have to literally take God at his word. From here on out it's no more just saying these things and da, 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 no we have to take him at what he said if he said that i tread on serpents and scorpions and over all the power of the enemy and nothing shall by any means hurt me nothing shall by any means hurt me so that's why i got up from there i i said a prayer over myself okay i i see what i'm facing i bind you in the name of jesus i began to make declarations and affirmations i began to speak the word over me began to pray over me while i was weeping and guess what i'm fit again i'm gonna get get off this uh log off this work get in a tub and have a day out and i felt so much better by the end of the day Whew, I did. But anyway, I want to eat my salad and then I have to go to my trainer. My brother came over today and we worked out. So I'm doing a double workout today. Lord have mercy. Pray my strength, saints. Pray my strength. I'm wanting for the digging to this. Love y'all.